Hi, this is Kelly Chase and this is History Detective and today I'm going to introduce you to the Shogun Nun Hojo Masako. Hojo Masako, or the Shogun Nun, was the wife of the very first Shogun of Japan and a formidable political activist. She was an incredibly significant woman and helped fight against the imperial family to keep the Shogun government in a position of power. After her husband died, she shaved her head and became a nun, but she continued to hold political sway until her death at 69 years of age, outliving her husband and children. Before we get into Masako's story, we need to understand the system of government. I know that politics doesn't light everyone's world on fire, but these politicians had samurai swords, so it makes it a little bit cooler. Just before the time period we're looking at, Japan was divided into clans and every good clan leader needed some samurai to make sure they could keep control of their lands. Samurai just means one who serves and they developed a code of ethics called the Bushido Code. They also became warriors highly skilled in martial arts and they carried quite a lethal cache of high quality swords. There were token emperors in power and they were believed to be descended from the sun goddess. But the royals would just hang out in their luxurious court and leave the day-to-day -day running of the country to advisers and ministers. While the emperor was writing his poetry and doing calligraphy in his fancy palace in Kyoto, outside there were civil wars breaking out between clans. This is where our heroine's husband comes in. The year was 1185 and there was a new job created called the Shogun. That just means military leader or general. Masako's husband, Minamoto no Yoritomo, became the first shogun and introduced a new system of government. This system was meant to be temporary, but it actually stayed in place for around 700 years. Yoritomo set up his government in a place called Kamakura, which is why the first shogunate is called the Kamakura Shogunate. He then set up military leaders in different provinces all over Japan and implemented a feudal system of government. Let's get back to our shadow shogunate leader, Hojo Masako. As a young girl, Masako was a tomboy, enjoying horse riding, hunting and fishing. Masako's mother died when she was in her late teens and she had to take on the household duties. Her dad went to Kyoto for three years to work on guard duty for the emperor and when he was there he met and married a woman who was the same age as his daughter Masako. While he was away, Masako met her future husband. Yoritomo was living in exile in the province since his family had been killed by a rival clan leader. When her dad came back and found out about this relationship, he was livid. He wanted her to marry another man who would strengthen the family's position. But Masako knew what she wanted. And on the evening of her arranged wedding to this other guy, she crept away in the middle of the night and hid in a mountain temple with her boyfriend Yoritomo and was guarded by warrior monks until her dad begrudgingly gave his consent to their union. There were a lot of civil clan wars going on at the time and eventually Masako and her father and husband banded together to become victorious by wiping out a rival clan. This was about the same time that the new shogun feudal system was being set up. In 1199, her husband died. It was traditional at the time for a widowed woman to shave their head and become a nun. She did shave her head and wear a nun's habit. However, she did not move into the nunnery. She kept her finger in the political pie. When Yoritomo, the first shogun, died, as this job was set up to be an inherited position, her eldest son, Yorie, was in line to be the next shogun. The thing is, he was not quite old enough. He was only 17. Masako formed a council of elders to rule on his behalf. This included her father, Yorie's grandfather. Her son, now a powerless hormonal teenage shogun, was annoyed and started running his mouth off about killing his grandfather. Alarm bells rang about Yorie's competence as a shogun and after only a year, Masako kicked him out of the job, put him into exile and placed her 11-year-old son, Sanetomo, in the position of shogun. Being only 11, of course, Masako, our nun shogun, was again ruling as regent. After two years of this, 
her father. Remember how he had married a woman the same age as Masako? Well, they had had a son and her dad hatched a plan to replace the shogun with his own son. Masako was not having a bar of this and sent her dad into exile to live in a monastery. So much political and family intrigue. But it doesn't stop there. Remember her first son that she put in exile? Well, he had four children and one of those sons grew up to be a Buddhist monk with a grudge. One day, after the shogun Sanetomo was on his way back from a ceremony, Yorie's angry monk son assassinated his shogun uncle. One source says that he sprung out from behind a ginkgo tree to do the deed. That means that Masako's grandson from her first son killed her second son. And that marked the end of the Minamoto line, but not the end of Masako's political influence. After her son's death, Masako travelled to Kyoto and appointed the fourth shogun, a one-year-old relative of her husband. The emperor thought this might be a good time to try and get back in control of the country. But Masako and the Hojo clan managed to rally warriors and she continued to rule in the capacity of regent until her death. Don't forget to hit subscribe and if you would like to hear a song that I wrote on this topic, there's a link to Behind Every Warrior up there. And in the description below, you'll find a link to my website where you'll find a reference list and links to teaching resources. This is Kelly Chase. On the case. I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this video is being recorded today. I pay my respects to the elders and knowledge holders past, present and emerging.